Shalom, and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. We're in the desert. We're in the alpaca farm just outside of Mitzvah Ramon in the Negev Desert. And we're here because we're praying through the Passover posts, remembering the 40 years that Moses and Israel wandered. Well, they really didn't wander. They were led through the desert all because of rebellion, the rebellion of unbelief. Today is day 18, and the title of our prayer is Yeshua, our Passover Lamb. God gave Israel very detailed instructions about the Passover Lamb, and Yeshua filled every one of them. Although there continues to be a great debate on exactly what day Yeshua was crucified, it's appropriate to accept in faith the logistics of that most unusual year. Number one, there was to be a male lamb or goat in its prime and was selected and separated on the 10th of the month of Nisan. Now, here are our verses. Exodus 12.5 compared with John 12.1 and Luke 3.23. Number two, the lamb was examined for perfection. And our verses are Exodus 12, 5, Luke 23, 4, and 14. Number three, the lamb was killed between the evenings on the 14th of the month. Exodus 12, 6, and Luke 23, verse 54. And finally, no bones were to be broken. Exodus 12, 46, Psalm 34, 20, and John 19, 33 to 37. I recommend Sir Robert Anderson's The Coming, Pre uh, the Coming Prince just to give you another perspective. He's done a lot of study. Well, today we're going to pray that the Jewish people will recognize Yeshua, God's Passover Lamb. Abba Shemayim, we do pray that Israel and all the Jewish people all over the world will recognize Yeshua is their Messiah. Yeshua is your provision for Israel's redemption, deliverance, reconciliation, and atonement. Not just Israel, but for all who will believe. And it's in that precious, precious name of Yeshua that we pray. Amen. And with that, as the sun climbing higher and higher in the sky and it's finally getting warm in the desert, we say Shalom, Yom Tov, have a good day. <laughs>